From News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. We had quite a few clouds around the valley today, but of course the sunshine came out this afternoon. Little sunshine that was in and out. Uh, the high temperatures this afternoon, I'll show you those. Those high temperatures were actually probably felt a little warmer than what it was because we had some light winds out there. You know, I'm always talking about wind chills. So we're saying that temperatures will be in the, our, that is the high temperatures today, we're in the mid 40s, but some of the wind chills were around 39 to 40 degrees. So I, I want to start with that because this weekend, temperatures are going to be cooling off. In fact, we're going to be noticing it toward tomorrow. And what that means is that uh, it's going to be about 39, 40 degrees. So that's how it's going to feel. It's going to feel chillier if you go up skiing, but it's going to be nice. Last 24 hours, seven new inches at Bogus Basin. We're talking three new inches uh, at Brundage. Tamarack had about an inch. Uh, both all those locations could get about an inch to two inches of snow. We're not going to see snow overnight, though. We'll remain dry into this evening. And temperatures will be dropping down around 32 or 33 degrees. So it's chilly for tomorrow morning. We already have some high clouds that are around the valley, as you see in the latest futurecast. But here's the first snow. That's tomorrow, probably between, uh, probably on the noon hour. And it's going to be a little earlier for Ontario where they'll get snow. You see, it changes to a mixture of rain or snow and a Caldwell at Nampa. Now, uh, this is how long it lasts. It's about 6, 7 o'clock tomorrow night. And then it's pretty much out of the picture. Here's an 8.30 picture. And then watch this. We're looking at it clearing out. By Saturday morning, we're going to be seeing sunshine, especially late morning. There'll be a few clouds coming in on Sunday, but it's drying up, and most of your high temperatures will be around 40 degrees. So if you look at the latest satellite, we do have high clouds that are out there right now. And, and that's not just for us. You can see that it's over the entire northwest, and the storm system isn't along the coastline yet, but it's getting pretty close. So I'll show you the uh, position of that storm. If you look out just west of Oregon, you'll see the blue area or cold front that's coming in. That's what's going to drop our temperatures about five degrees for tomorrow. By the way, we need it. Here's the amount of precipitation in December. We've had just a little over a half an inch. That's all we received last month. The average precipitation is about an inch and a half. December is usually a big moisture making month. So we're below by about an inch for our last month. And all together, we're below by about a half an inch if you consider the year so far with the first three months. So we've got to get some moisture in here. If you look at the seven-day forecast, it's not showing a lot. Uh, you'll see the high tomorrow, 40, and we already mentioned it's about a tenth to maybe a 1,500 of an inch of rain. That'll help. And I don't see much more of that even as you get into the weekend. It dries up and it stays that way. The next chance of maybe a shower could possibly be coming along next Tuesday. Uh, but we're looking at uh, probably a dry spell for at least three or four days through the weekend and the first part of next week. Kim?